Stop motion, sometimes called stop frame, is an animation technique that's existed for over 100 years. Filmmakers realized early on that they could create amazing illusions by stopping and starting their cameras. Objects, clay, puppets, and even people can be animated. The principles are always the same. Place something in front of a camera and take a picture. Move it slightly and take another picture. Do this a bunch more times. When you string these images together, the object appears to move. Typically, 12 frames create one second of stop motion animation. By varying the amount you change the object between frames, you can make it appear to move slower or faster. This is the most basic principle of animation. Puppets are a little more complicated to animate because they have so many moving parts. A puppet must be flexible but able to hold any pose for an extended period of time. Inside is a strong skeleton made of aluminum wire or specially engineered joints. This is called an armature. Even a puppet's clothing usually has wire in it so it can hold gravity-defying poses. Most puppets can't stand by themselves. They must be screwed to the set or supported by a rig that is digitally erased later. Some puppets are built with mouths that can open, but many aren't. To get the fullest range of mouth and facial expression, replacement parts are often used instead. This can be as simple as using stickers for the mouths, or as complicated as swapping the entire head with a new one. That's how Jack was able to sing and change emotion in The Nightmare Before Christmas. Recent films like Paranorman and The Box Trolls have utilized 3D printing to create thousands of replacement parts. In fact, a lot of technology is used to aid in production such as digital SLR cameras and software like DragonFrame. This software allows an animator to capture images directly to a computer and play their animation back instantly. This is something early animators working on film never dreamed of. But you don't need to invest in all of that technology if you want to make stop motion animation. Like most things these days, there's an app for that. Vine, for example, has become a popular tool and distribution platform for stop motion production. Stop motion animation may be an antique medium, but most people agree it's only gotten better with age. For the latest in stop motion animation, check out Mashable's latest coverage. And don't forget to watch the other videos in our Mashable Explains series.